Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I don't know who I am picking up the camera so much lately. <laughs> I feel a little bit better and more myself, which is really nice. I thought I would get ready with you guys. I'm gonna just share with you guys the products I've been using. For my foundation, I've been using this Lady Gaga foundation. I honestly didn't know it was like a celebrity foundation before I used it, which I honestly, I don't know how I feel about celebrities making even more profit and money on things that they weren't originally known for. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, I try to put my money into people or brands that have always been whatever they're selling. But this is a really good foundation, I must say. This is just like every day, like just quick. I really don't have time anymore to like sit here and do my makeup full fully all the time. I just got a new one of these eyebrow powders anastasia beverly hills and this is the brow powder duo and it's the shade dark brown but i do the lighter shade and i actually had my other one forever like forever so the fact that i'm like using a new one is pretty interesting <laughs> to me yeah but i just do my eyebrows like that it's just very pigmented because it's so new so like not trying to overdraw. Plus my eyebrows have been giving me like problems lately. I feel like I need to get them tinted. I did that once. I didn't I say I regret it, but it was just like a different color. <laughs> kind of weird, but I just want like a slight tint. I was gonna do it myself and I, I saw like people's reviews on Amazon. I was like, I'm not doing that. This is actually almost out. This is the Rare Beauty blush and I actually like it better when it's like run out because it's so much product when I first got it but now that it's like barely there it's like the perfect amount so I'll just put like two little dots here and this is the shade hope and I do like on my cheeks and then this is where I get like a little bit of sun-kissed look as I put it a little bit on my eyes like and then on my the bridge of my nose here and it gives me like some color which is nice and then I just I always hate sharing this product because they don't make it anymore but it's the Sigma Brilliant Shimmer Cream. It's just like a um, cream blush slash highlighter situation. And I just put that on my cheeks and my nose and also on my eyelids. Mascara, better than sex always. But lately I've been wanting to try the Tower 28. I know that it's like a really good brand that a lot of people are like starting to use or like, I guess it's like the new thing I've noticed. So I think when I'm done with this, I'm gonna, dare I say, try a new mascara. Yeah, just simple just like that and then i'll just put on the laneige sleep mask honestly just any chapstick works i just have so many of these so like i said i'm feeling a lot better i was watching some of my older vlogs and i was just so like open and like transparent and like so just myself like not over analyzing everything and just kind of picking up the camera and like vlogging my life and i think that's what made me enjoy it a lot more than what i'm you know what I've been doing lately and it's just I've been over analyzing every little thing and I've talked about this in the last vlog about how there's just so much pressure now to perform online whereas when I first started and when I first like got into YouTube it was just literally me and I feel like I strayed away from that and I don't know exactly when that happened but I can see the difference in my vlogs and like that was like one of the things that I talked about in my mid-year reset and that's just like focusing on being myself. I think a lot of the social media plays a part, everything that I've went through and like depression and all of that. But also I think becoming a mother, we were watching Marley and Me the other day and there's like a couple scenes in there where I literally like feel like they hit the nail on the, I don't know the phrase. They got it perfectly when Jennifer Aniston was going through like all of her mom stuff. She said something in there that I was like, oh my God, yeah. And that's, you've lost a lot of things that made you who you were before you were a mom. It's absolutely true. I look back at those videos. There's no filter. There's no like tiredness. I feel like I, like when you have a kid, you like your time just goes away. A lot of your everyday fun things that make you you kind of go away and you kind of just focus on the kid obviously like that's a good thing but that doesn't take away from the fact that you do lose a little bit of, of a, who you are that all comes with just the newness of a baby and having a kid and all of that so i know that it's not always going to be like that but i can definitely see where i was like taken aback and just not really focusing on 
me as a person and that's just like not a good thing to do for my son. I always want to make sure that I am being my full authentic self and not holding back or feeling like I have to perform online or whatever when I'm not feeling my best and just being like transparent. I think that's like the theme of the most recent realizations that I've had in therapy and everything is just being like myself and fully embracing that and not feeling like I need to perform. A little morning therapy chat there, but I've got a lot of things to do today. We've got some pine straw, so we're probably gonna put that down in our yard. Ari needs to go to the vet. I would like to get in a workout. I don't know exactly what I wanna do just yet, but I would like to do that. And yeah, I already got a video up today, which is pretty cool. It's been a good Monday. Not gonna lie. All right, we have a sponsor for today's video and that is Sundays for Dogs. I'm so stoked and so is Aria. She's such a spoiled girl because she's already had a breakfast, but because we've got a film, she has to get more. So I actually think this is like the greatest concept ever. So they actually deliver to your door so you don't have to ever buy dog food or go to the store and buy it. And we have a dog that's gonna be like 100 pounds. So we have to get that big giant food bag so the fact that this is like delivered to you makes it easier for everyone this is also like really good food like this is really healthy for your dog it's like human grade i'm pretty sure i can eat it if i really wanted to it's just meat fruit and veggies there's zero synthetics in it also when it comes to healthy dog foods a lot of the times you have to refrigerate it but this one you don't really have to do that so that's also a plus um it's just super easy and very healthy like there's nothing much else to it dogs don't require much but i actually I actually watched a documentary a few years ago when we had Nova um, and all the issues that we had with her when we were trying to figure everything out and reading like what goes into dog food is actually disgusting and if you just read the ingredients it's actually such a shame that people allow dogs to live off of these I would say like chemicals and stuff like that so the fact that this is just all pure and it's all healthy you want the best for your dog right like, they just give you the most pure love Sandra's stepdad told me something that I loved. If you threw your wife in a trunk and then you throw your dog in another car in the trunk, when you open the trunk, who's going to be happy to see you? Like, that's just like the epitome of a dog's love for you. Like, they're just, we don't deserve them. So the fact that you can give your animals, like, quality food um, is just something that's really cool. So I'm going to use this, actually, to show you guys her... Um, tricks that she does because she's actually so freaking smart. She's only three months and she already knows how to sit and stay. Perfect timing. Do you have a sec? Uh, she smells it. He's such a treats. dog dad. My uh, kibble pouch. Aria, come here, girl. Can you sit? Oh, girl. She can stay. Sit. Stay. This one, she learned in like five tries. I'm, I'm biased, but I feel like her teachings are like the smartest dog. Can you paw? Good girl. Is this one for me? Lie down. Lie down. Here I am lying down. <laughs> So they have a discount code for you guys if you do sundaysfordogs.com slash renee. They're doing 50% off of your first box. Huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. I am headed off to the gym, but I wanted to show you guys these new training shoes that I got. I don't know the name of them off the top of my head, but I'll pop it on the screen. They are so freaking, so freaking cute. I had originally gotten them off um, the website called Poison. So basically they have like all the shoes, all the brands and stuff like that, just at a fraction of the cost. Um, my reflection scared me. I was like, someone just walk up to my car. That's just me. They were originally, I think like $120, but on the website it's a hundred. So I'll link them down below, um, as well as the actual shoe, because I think it's a really good website. They're all verified. It's authentic. It's like the real, the real deal, but let's go to the gym. Look, saint versus sinners, the poor versus riches, top ramen place versus five star dentists. Wonder why I fit it, the humblest beginnings. Had to take some losses before I saw my first winnings. Silver line grinning, poverty line thinning. My life is like a movie and the plot just thickened. Came from broken homes trying to break the old traditions. Left my old ways for my future acquisitions, I know. No such thing as playing both sides, I know. 
Life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know No such thing as playing both sides, I know The life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know Coming from a family drunk cycle and it's belligerent Me, I sip a little bit, maybe a little more Just trying to keep a score Two cups in and knowing my liver sore And knowing I'm into sore And knowing I'm in for more Rewrite destiny right when I hit record Patching up the trauma, these lyrics is near spawn I rose from the concrete away but it came with thorns, I know I know, I know Bryson, throw it. So this is today's project. I've got some pine straw that we need to put out like all throughout the front of the house. There's some in the back of the house. Like there's just a lot to do. <laughs> so they dropped this off yesterday, but I'm gonna basically just take each barrel and put them kind of like where they need to go around the house. All right, I went ahead and put one per like however many feet, but we've got this section here and then I've got to do that section over in the back. This is gonna be my workout of the day. Let's see how much of this I can actually get done. I did the whole damn thing. So he's gotta come down and like pat it all down, but my goodness, this country, these country chores are literally no joke. I'm about to faint, but I did all of that. It looks so much better. I'm gonna go hop in the shower because I'm disgusting. All right, so update on this chickpea pasta. This is the Trader Joe's, I guess like the take on Banza. And I must say, we made this pasta last night and it's much better than Banza in my opinion. I still love Banza, but this one tastes more like actual pasta. It is so delicious. 10 out of 10. Alrighty guys, it is currently Friday. I haven't filmed, I was planning on filming a week in my life and I quite frankly, I'm just not doing too hot. I'm like not present here on my channel and this is something I feel like I should have done a long time ago. I'm going to be taking like a break for a whole bunch of stuff. There's just a lot of things going on in my home life. Like I'm not performing as well as I should be on my channel, like I'm I'm just not, I'm simply not there. I can no longer just keep trying at this point. I'd rather take a break and then come back when I've fully figured out what's going on. I'm currently, you know, in therapy, but I feel like the pressure of like my channel, it's not really helping in terms of my grieving process or figuring out my home life, figuring out myself. Yeah, it's just something that I'd rather take a step back from right now and then come back feeling more myself. Right now I'm just like all over the place emotionally and like mentally is not doing too well. So I just wanted to come in here and say that I will be taking a break. I don't know how long, it might be short, it might be longer, I don't know. But I'm just not gonna keep saying that I'm gonna come back and feel good because I've had 
like these super high moments and then I feel like I kind of let myself down and obviously I let down a lot of other people, you guys and stuff when I say I'm going to come back and I'm going to do it and I feel good and then the next however long it's just not there. I need to just figure it out on my own um, with no like distractions. I mean I literally just had like a 14 week miscarriage and that has really 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 affected me and a lot of things in my life. I just need to get help. I'm completely burnt out. I'm completely overwhelmed emotionally. I'm super emotional and I'm just not prepared to put in the work that this channel requires right now. I'm gonna kind of just focus in, inward I would say and just figure out what going on in my life and what I want going forward. I think this is a good thing for me. I appreciate all of you guys for being there for me and constantly supporting this channel. I know that you guys see it in me too and I know a lot of you guys mean well and you know really do want the best for me and my family and I appreciate all of that support and love and I just I don't want to let anyone down and it's not unseen or unheard. Um, it actually makes me feel very good so I appreciate all the kind words and love from you guys and constant support and I'm just in a funky place right now and I just need to figure that out I need to work on myself and like I said go inward and come back with a better mindset I think I'm just not there right now so I appreciate you guys for watching this vlog I love you so much I will see you guys definitely in the future. I just don't know exactly when that will be. So just give me my time, please, my space. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day and have continue to have a wonderful day. And I'm spreading all my love and my as little good energy I have right now. I want you guys to feel that. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the future. Bye. Floating.